Now let's talk about the Rotate Tool sibling, the Reflect Tool, which sits right here. And it has an extremely useful shortcut, which is the O key. So let me just give you a little tip here. This shortcut is one of the most important shortcuts when it comes to tools in Illustrator and should be among the ones you learn in the first place. Reflecting flips the object across an invisible axis that you specify. And honestly, we can take the concepts from the Rotate tool and use them with the Reflect tool. So I got an image of a butterfly right here that is missing the right wing. And this is a problem we can quickly solve using the Reflect tool. So I'll just grab it by pressing the O key on the keyboard. And I will click somewhere in the middle of the butterfly. So what I can do right now is I can drag the left wing to the right and watch the transformation happen in relation to the invisible axis set up by the reference point. And if I press and hold on the shift key, I'll constrain the transformation to 45 degree increments. And if I press and hold down the Alt key, of course you'd press and hold down the Option key on a Mac, I will not only reflect the wing, but also duplicate it to finish the look. As with the Rotate tool, we can invoke a Reflect tool dialog box by clicking on the artboard while holding down the Alt key just like so. So in here we can specify the type of the reflection, vertical, horizontal or by a specific angle. If the object contains patterns, we can reflect them by checking this option right here that says Transform Patterns. There are three ways of using the Reflect tool to flip objects in relation to their own center points. If uh, for any reason I just want to flip the butterfly in relation to its own center point, I can just press the O key on the keyboard to initialize the Reflect tool and then press Enter to initialize the Reflect tool options dialog box. We could also just double click on the Reflect tool in the Tools panel or go to the Object menu Transform and choose Reflect. So this is the Reflect tool. It looks humble, but it can save you a lot of time in various design scenarios. Next up is the Scale tool, but before we move on to it, let's address one of the most common problems designers face when they are creating their artwork. Let's talk about how to establish the center point of your artwork in relation to we would perform various transformations. 